moving on. So after high school, you got to play a collegiate athletics. What division was that? And what made you decide besides that you wanted to get out of Wyoming, what made you decide on, I'm going to try to be a dual sport athlete in college Mm. and try to play track and softball. Talk us through that thought process and that experience a little bit. If, if I could have, I would have played all the sports in college that I played in high school. I, I wouldn't have chose, I would have chose four or five, as many as I could possibly squeeze in. Even during the time when I was playing softball and running track, I also was doing indoor track. Indoor track was the same time as softball. So I would have indoor track practice and then softball track um, practice in the afternoon. On top of that, I got, I signed up for every sport that they had inside the club leagues so that I could play pickup games whenever somebody needed somebody extra on their team. I literally never left the gym and, Oh, it was a D2 school. It was a D2 school, super small. So that's why I could play more than one sport. The kind of school where my track coach literally bought me cleats because (laughs) he could buy cleats for every player on the team. There's only like six of us. The sports was what can he, what can I get a full ride scholarship for? What, you need me to play basketball. You need me to run track. What do you need me to do? I, I can play whatever it is that you want me to play. So that, that point, it pretty much came, my decision came about the money, which was an important mm-hmm. factor because it's actually not very many kids that get athletic scholarships. And I knew that. Um, I was still really had great um, academic scholarships, but I didn't need to use that because I was fortunate enough to be able to get athletic. And that's why I tell a lot of my kids when now they come in and they're like, oh, well, this school and that school and this school and that school. And I'm like, oh, what it, what's, what's so great about that school? Because somebody knows the name of the school? Mm-hmm. Because you're going to tell somebody a story and they're going to know the name of the school. But how much are they going to give you? How many years of university are you going to be able to attend? And so that's why I really try to give emphasis to a lot of my athletes now is that don't put too much weight on what level, you know, if it's a D1 or a D2 or an um, NAIA. I mean, go wherever you're going to get a good education paid for and that you're going to end up having something to fall back on after you finish school. That was that was a big factor for me. And then fortunately, you know, I was only able to, because of getting injured, tearing my AC, I tore, okay, let's talk about that. So I didn't just tear my ACL. I had an unhappy triad and part of that is the reason why it was so difficult for me to come back from my rehab and um, because of the severity of the injury of that, um, of that injury, ACL, MCL and medial meniscus. After surgery, I was immobilized in a straight leg brace to the point that like my, my thigh was literally the same size as, you know, my wrist. It was just, completely um, no muscular strength. And it was really challenging for me to come back from that injury. But if I hadn't got injured, I definitely know that I would have gone all four years to that university, er, to that school. um, University of Sioux Falls was the name of the college. Mm -hmm. But if I hadn't got injured, I wouldn't have left and gone to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And how's this? I transferred to Arizona walk on, try out, walk on to the softball team. I made the softball team, got a scholarship, just enough to, just enough to keep food on the table while I was working a part-time job and going to school. So, you know, it was, it was crazy. And everybody is like, so you have, you went to school in South Dakota, then you transferred, you played softball in Arizona, never even stepped on the field. At, at ASU, never even stepped on the field, but they pay, they gave me money to help me pay for my education. It didn't matter to me at that point. I was just a, you know, practice work dog, workhorse. I was there for some reason, but they were giving, they were paying for that tuition. So, you know, got a, a bachelor's degree in kinesiology and yeah. Looking back now, you suffered that ACL injury your freshman year. So you didn't get to participate in the season? Not in a regular season. We had preseason. Yeah, we had preseason for softball. And then I had just started, um, I had trained for that whole semester. So I was doing both softball and track at the same time. 
Got training it. for um, having a preseason in softball, training for um, regular season track and first track meet. Got first it. First track meet. And what never, were your never events got to compete. in? What were your events oh, in track? 100, 200, four by one, four by four, and long jump. Got it. And yeah. then in softball, what position did you primarily play? I was a catcher. Got it. See, I yeah. didn't even know all of this about you. So I'm <laughs> learning a ton. 